Hey, good morning. Uh, I'll tell you what, one of the most critical parts of any lathe is the apron oiling. And uh, if that goes haywire, um, out the worst example would be the Monarch 10 E. It can cost tens of thousands of dollars of damage if the waves aren't getting oil through the apron. I'm uh, cleaning up this axelson here. The uh, I noticed the apron uh, was getting oil, but not very much, and so I went to an investigate. And uh, you can actually see my finger in there. There's the the window, and you can uh, clean the window with your finger. <laughs> So, I'll have a nice little clean window there, and the oil pump goes goes here on the bottom, and I don't know if I could, if you can see up there, but there's like a, a lever up there that actuates, and it's limited by this screw. So, when you turn this screw in, um, the uh, distance that the lever move is re uh, re is reduced, and when you back it out, you get like full um, movement on the pump. Let's look at the pump. Pumps over here, and you got a little workbench back in here again. So the pump's really simple. <clears throat> And I got this cleaned up. They uh, uh, just use silicone seal to uh, uh, install it. It was dripping and it wasn't pumping that good. But it was just the limit of uh, that arm that actuates that. Then it's got some check balls here. And I took that all apart and cleaned it. And it was kind of full of sludge. And since it was... Uh, just moving very little like that, um, it wasn't pumping very efficiently. So I'm I'm gonna put it back in there. I, I made a I'm making a gasket for it here. I have some fell pro material instead of just gooping it on with uh, silicone, and uh, get that back on there and have it so it's pumping full and. Uh, pump out those uh, passages. And I got a feeling that Axelson did not use those little uh, Beecher uh, metering units like the Monarch 10 E is. And that's one of the problems with those machines here is uh, those little uh, orifices, their metering valves uh, get clogged up and then you don't get any oil at all. And I don't think Axison did that. And in fact, it's kind of weird how this machine oils. Uh, it only oils the ways and everything. Um, if uh, the cross feed's working, uh, engaged or the longitudinal feed, and that's the only time. Except for they say, and I don't know how it works, I'm going to explore that, is when you're threading, somehow it <laughs> oils the lead screw in half nuts. So that's going to be fun to check out. Okay, I'm going to get this uh, back together here real quick. Okay. Hey, I got this uh, apron oiler working great. Um, it's got an adjustment here, right here, and I'll turn it up. And you might be able to see it leaking out.
this old machine has been sitting for quite a few years and uh, oil kind of gets gummy and kind of dried up and stuff and the uh, oil pump in the apron is working great now it it kind of had a uh, kind of syrupy sludge in it and I, th I think it wasn't very efficient so um, I cleaned it up and I got um, I got it uh, so it's pumping and over pumping which is good it uh, it's kind of blowing out the passages that it wasn't getting enough oil to. And uh, this thing actually, this accent actually gets oil to the top slide. And it's, I, I don't think I've had a lathe that did that. You know, you, you would think the Monarch 10 double E would do that, but it don't. It, <laughs> but there's little holes and a groove that uh, allows oil to come up and oil the top slide here. You can see somebody chipped this off here sometime in the past and uh, they felt bad about it and they kind of dressed it up real nice. That's nice. But I don't think it hurts it too much. So it seems to be getting oil everywhere on the apron now. And I'm kind of chasing down excess noise. And I notice when the uh, the gearbox, the, the feed box, uh, is in the high range, it's pretty noisy. So I'm going to chase, <laughs> see if I can find uh, one of those little ball oilers, which is, uh, they're just all over the place here. These little things here. There's uh, over 30 of them on this machine. <laughs> so it's, uh, you have to kind of participate a little bit on these older ones. Okay, I hope you're all having a great Easter weekend, and uh, I am. And uh, I just hope you're all having a good time with your family. Okay, bye-bye.